The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers? Thank you, Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Guys, I hope you had a great weekend. Before we get to these really rad Transformer minifigures, um, I just want to take another minute to say thank you to everybody who A, showed up to the uh, the birthday giveaway live stream, B, wished me a happy birthday, and just the rest of you for being fucking super rad. Uh, yesterday was my birthday. I always accept related gifts. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, and my original intent for that live stream was to start at like 11.30 Saturday night, which would have been the 7th, and then at midnight, right when I turned the 8th, to give the present away. If you were there, you know I didn't start until midnight. And then, and then the website I went to use to, to, to pick the winner, it just didn't go well. But we ended up making it work. And again, a huge congrats to uh, Bert Denbar for winning the birthday gift. I'm still not going to tell everyone what it is until he gets it and he opens it. But he did contact me yesterday. And um, I got his information and he will be getting that here shortly. So after all the birthday stuffs was over with, I needed a notebook, so I said I'm going to run down to the, the Dollar Tree real quick and try to find a notebook. And inexplicably, they didn't have a single fucking notebook. One of the first things I like to do at the Dollar Tree is, of course, I go down the toy aisle, because you never know what you're going to find. And if you've been around here long enough, you know that I've already done two videos on Transformers from the Dollar Tree, but it's their own branded version. One was more of a GoBot style, the other one was kind of a G1 Transformer kind of style. Now we got these, actual official branded Transformer dealios. Here's the odd thing. I stumbled upon these by accident. I knew they were out there, but I wasn't looking for them. I saw that the aisle was empty, so we went to the next aisle to look for a notebook. Couldn't find it, and I just happened to look up, and this was hiding between a couple boxes on the very top shelf there where they keep the stock. I pulled it down and ripped it open and went through and got all six of them out of there, and then I got stoned by everyone else who wanted one. So... I was happy to walk away with all these plus one extra because my little lady said she, she she wanted an Optimus Prime. That's all she wanted. So I bought her an Optimus Prime. So let's start off with the Autobots here. We have uh, Optimus Prime. Now these are, um, they're official. They're official licensed kind of dealio. Uh, they're by a company called Prexio. I don't know if you can see that because my phone doesn't like to focus on anything. Prexio, and thank God they're not blind bags. They're not blind bags. You know what's coming when you open this up. Um, oh shoot, I ripped some. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, you get this nifty little card, I guess, of Mr. Optimus. Oh, here you go. Here's uh, here's a six that you can get. I mean, you're gonna see all six today anyway, so you don't really need that. And here's the figure itself. Does it come with anything else? No, that's it. So well, here's Optimus in all of his mini fig glory. Uh, there's not really much paint deco to, to really talk about. Some yellows and silvers and stuff like that. Does he stand up well? No, I, mean, I didn't expect him to. Oh no, he does. Oh, pretty cool. So we'll get a good shot of them all standing together um, later on. But overall, really cool figure. Soft rubbery plastic. Um, probably... Roughly the same size as a muscle figure. We'll compare it in here in a minute. So we'll put Optimus over here. Let's go with the uh, Bumblebee, the classic, the classic Bumblebee. And his card is also Optimus. That's that's interesting. So I wonder if they just put the same card in all the in all the baggies. And it, you know what? It probably would be nice if uh, if they all had their own card. Can you imagine? Getting a little display thing. Eh, whatever, I suppose. They're a buck. What can you what can you ask for, you know? Let's pull Bumblebee out of out of the bag. Oh, his feet are pretty substantial here. There you go. Not bad for little guys like this, huh? Now, there are some markings on the bottom. I'm not gonna try to try to even pretend I can read any of that. But overall, everything I had expected to be. Last but not least, Grimlock. Coolest name ever, Grimlock. Sounds like sounds like a stage of uh, like you got rigor mortis and you got dick mortis and then you get Grimlock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yep, yeah, same card, same card for all of them. 
Here's Grimlock. He is a substantial, substantial little figure. Holy God. Little, little soft arms. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that noise. That's pretty cool. All right, Autobots, roll out. It's time for some Decepticonic massiveness. All right, so to start things off, why not go with the big motherfucker himself, Megatron? Again, the names for these things were amazing. Are these all going to have fucking Optimus in there, too? Yeah. Eh. That's a shame. That's just one more thing that would have made this a little extra. A little more extra. Because I guarantee you these things weren't originally supposed to be in a Dollar Tree. So, these were probably like five bucks at one point somewhere. And if I had to pay five dollars each for one of these, which I would never have done because I'm not really that big of a Transformers fan. I probably would have been pissed if they all came with Optimus Prime. But yeah, there you go. Okay, so Starscream again. Amazing, amazing name. And the artwork on these, I, I probably haven't mentioned it yet. The artwork on these packaging is, is, is amazing. It's good stuff. I say amazing a lot. I know, I know. And we got Optimus here. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Um, I think this one so far out of all of them is the most that's lacking. Um, I get a gumball machine vibe from staring at this one, but that's okay. Again, it's only a dollar. The paint deco here in the back is actually really good. Um, if you want to display him with his ass towards you, I think that would look better. <laughs> but no, Starscream looks okay. It's not too bad, huh? And last but not least, Soundwave. This, this Transformer is the one that blew my mind as a kid. Not because it was anything special, but because it's like... They'll make anything into a Transformer. You got guns, you got vehicles, and you got a cassette player. What's next? Mom's Blender? Which the movie tried to do. Okay, is that everything that's in there? Okay. I wanted to just double check that because I don't know if Ravage would be in there. Uh, was that the name of the cassette? Because the, the original figure, um, the original Transformer, actually had a cassette that would go into the chest... And it too transformed into like, what, a fucking like a raptor or something like that, an eagle or something. I don't know. I'm never going to sit here and try to say that I'm a Transformers uh, expert. Uh, I didn't collect the toys. Again, probably for the same reasons I didn't really collect the ones for He-Man. Plus, I, I, I just could never, I could never transform them past like the original, the original wave of them. They, they just started getting so complicated. It was, it was beyond, it was beyond my mental capacities. And there you have it, guys. That's my look at the Prexio Transformers minifigs found at the Dollar Tree. And before, before we uh, sign out and all that, I just want to say that not only will you be able to find these at your Dollar Tree, if I can find them at my Dollar Tree, they, I guarantee you they're either already at yours or they're coming pretty soon. But they also have a line of these figures. I think they're the exact same figures, but they're keychains as well. I saw one or two of them. Ah, God, back in December, and I chose not to get it, and I'm glad I waited for this. Um, and they're proven to be very popular, and I can see why. I mean, Transformers are popular to begin with, but for a buck a piece, you know, <laughs> side note before we sign out. When I pulled the fucking box down, and I started going through it to make sure I have at least one of each, a line started forming behind me. Little kids with their fathers, a couple of little girls. And I looked at my little girl and said, look, here's the deal. I'm going to put the ones I want in front of you. Guide them with your life. If I walk out of here without at least one of each, I'm fucking going to kill you. <laughs> she looked at me, of course, and was like, fat fuck, I will stab the shit out of you before you even lift a finger. So the conversation went something like that. I think it went, hey, hon, just make sure no one gets these. But you can interpret that any way you like. But we were able to get one of each at least. Everyone was patient and very cool about it. And, of course, in turn, my lady, my little lady just wanted one Optimus Prime, so she was gifted with that. I would have got her one of each, but she's like, no, no I just like Optimus, and I, I would just like to have him on my, my nightstand. So, guys, let me know down in the comments what do you think. Is this something that you're, you're going to get all excited about and try to hunt down? That's, that's half the fun of it. Once you bring it home, you have post, post-hunt depression. Please, tell me, tell me someone else experiences that. Um... But yeah, go ahead and leave your thoughts down below. Feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback to the creepy positive. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope you had a great weekend. It's Monday. Hope you have a great start to your week. And until next time, guys, take care. 
Creep it real. And bye-bye.